So if you're ever lucky enough to find yourself up here at the observatory in La Palma, you'll notice the first telescope to open most nights is the Liverpool telescope. It's a robotic one. That means pretty much what it says. It's not controlled by humans, it's all automatic. And we're about to have a look inside. So here we are now inside the Liverpool telescope. And I'll tell you what, it's much, much bigger than it looks from the outside. This grey bit here, that's the two metre mirror. Same deal we're used to. This sort of shell-like dome opens each night. The telescope can rotate, azimuth there. Also its altitude can rotate, so it can tip this way. And then our light comes from space onto the primary mirror there, back up to the secondary mirror, and then down underneath where there are actually five instruments attached to the bottom of the telescope at the moment that measure light in different ways. And basically, these can rotate. So for different observations, you can be using a different instrument. The light can be measured in different ways. That's actually one of the instruments too. The light actually comes along a cable and goes into there. So completely robotic. There are never humans here at night. That has some obvious advantages. One of them is cost. But the other one, which is really interesting, is that during the day, they're able to create observation cues. They tell the telescope what they want to observe in order, but they can also have special priorities, kind of like emergencies. If a gamma ray burst or something goes off, or there's something that suddenly has to be observed, something opportune comes up, the telescope can prioritize and immediately slew across the sky to where it needs to be looking. And there's no human factor to that. There's no decision making. There's nothing that has to be done on the fly. The computer already knows exactly what to do all night and what decisions to make. Of course, there are disadvantages. If something breaks or goes wrong during the night, there's not much you can do about that. Don't know why they have buttons if there's no humans here. I guess that's for the technicians. Although I was just talking to the technician and he told me in 11 years, he's not once been sent up here at night to fix anything. So it's obviously a pretty reliable piece of machinery. So once more, there's the view from the Liverpool telescope. You can see down there to the bottom of La Palma, and the sea and the clouds that were so often above, which is a great advantage of this site.